saw the befores you know what it is <laughs> I have to get my house together cuz I gotta make my kids Easter gift bags kits I don't call them Easter baskets cuz we focus on Jesus Jesus is the reason for every season of our lives can I get an amen <laughs> I really want to get them their Easter gift bags kit <laughs> before Good Friday because once Good Friday hits it's about Jesus it ain't about nothing else but Jesus so in order for me to do that in my ADHD mind I'm thinking we're gonna have to get this house together don't ask me why I'm thinking that I don't know I don't know the logic behind it but in my mind right now I'm thinking I gotta get this house together before I give my kids their Easter gift baskets so we gotta do this thing also This has seen its final days. Dun, 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 dun. It, Star Wars? Was that Star Wars? That was Star Wars. What was it? I meant to hold it. I was going to hold you it for Ralph. You were for dun, 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 There we go. <laughs> well, this finally uh, bit the dust. It seems as if, no, Shane's so eager to get rid of it. That thing has almost killed me. So what we're going to do times. is... 20 times. No, 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 no. That thing has fallen off the wall, and the only time it falls off the wall is when I'm under it. Well, that should just tell you something. <laughs> the universe is trying to tell you something. <laughs> You're my most favorite headache. <laughs> so I told everybody in the comments I had a video go up tonight, and, I, and everybody's like, oh, blessed Shane. Basically, and blessed I'm like, Shane. he's my favorite headache. Wait, but before I do this, I'm getting another one. But since Shane has so many complaints about this being in this area, I guess what you get to do today. Nothing. We're gonna try it in a different area. And I don't want to because I've had this in this area for right, forever. Right. Yeah. I just threw it away. You just no, we're gonna have to buy another one. I've had it in this area for forever, but every time Shane walks by, I don't know if it's where he gallops when he walks, because that's basically what he does. I don't know if it's where he gallops when he walks or what, but every single blooming time, it never fails, never late, never early, right on time, it hits him in the head, falls right on his noggin. But the way I see it is before I can do the Easter gift bags, gets, why am I saying it like that? that? I'm trying to do gift bag eggs, gets. <laughs> I, but it's not flowing. <laughs> so before I can do that, I have to get this house clean. And then after I get this house clean, before I can do the Easter gift baskets, I have to move this thing. Because that's just how my mind's working tonight. This is the life of a real, in-person, ADHD person. If you ain't ever met one before, you met one today. Because clinically diagnosed right here. Got the clonidine to prove it. Got the clonidine to prove it. <laughs> Let's get the day on thing done, done. I'm so bad. This is the happiest space in my living room. It always has been for like over a year. And you just had to go and ruin it.
this one way ride We're all on it, got to, got to Give it a go, all we got is hope Don't you, don't you know Wipe the floor of yesterday You can change it anyway And you're never alone, never alone Doesn't matter what they say Doesn't really matter what they do since Shane made me move my happy space, I'm moving his happy space over here. Get your song. This is married life. <laughs> also, I'm playing with fire right now because this is a piece that I'm taking back to Lowe's and I have it balancing on my ceiling. You see that? That's talent. <laughs> I'm gonna bring y'all down here to get y'all a close up of these floors. This will give you motivation for sure to get your floor swept. Open your eyes, see the open sky. Don't you, don't you know? Shake whatever brings you down All that ties you to the crown Cause you're never alone, never alone Doesn't matter what they say Doesn't really matter what they do They go, Baby, let me breathe it now They go, they go, breathe it now Doesn't matter where I go Heart's still open, can I close? They go, Baby, let me breathe it now They go, What? Look at this bad boy. She's stopped and she's ready to go. What? You ready? Yeah. Let's see. Look at this. Snap! You're good to go. I made sure to get all kinds of different sizes. That way if I run into different things. These right here. These are the, the baddest of the bad. I can't wait to have something to use them for. I don't know what. They would kill that shelf. That's why I didn't use them okay. anyway. So, but we're ready. But it has salt dust all over it. Yeah, makes it manly. <laughs>
update on things I've recently bought. <laughs> this, you guys seen me haul these a couple of video videos ago from Ross. Both pairs have bit the dust. They have just come apart there at the sole, between the sole and the strap there. Both pairs on only one shoe. Tossing these, we even tried hot glue in it, we've tried regular glue in it, we've tried monster glue in it, every kind of glue in it, and it still will not stay together. Those juicies must be dehydrated. <laughs> this thing, so this thing has great suction, I will not lie, but I don't know if you can tell, I just had to go around my entire carpet with the hose to get the big stuff, and it still didn't get it all. There's little stuff all in my carpet there. <sighs> Five out of ten because the suction's there. But the breaking in here to tell you guys that it also does that when it's not full. This has been like a reoccurring issue since I got this vacuum. The suction's there, but I don't know. It just will not suck up stuff in my carpet. And I know in my defense, in, in its defense actually, I I need a very strong, high powered vacuum, but it definitely does not get the stuff out of my carpet. Worst power's not. It's like it's revving up to go, but it runs out of gas before it gets to the racetrack. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it's like. I'm careful about what I say when it comes to vacuums because my house is not the average house. Your carpet probably doesn't look like my carpet, so it would probably do great on your carpet, but if your house is as messy as my house, if your carpet gets as bad as my carpet, Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I've used it for a few weeks. I even asked Shane's opinion on it. He was like, yeah, it's not doing it for me. It was a cheap vacuum. It had good suction at first, but it, it's, it leaves a lot of stuff in the carpet. And that's even when you, like, clean out the bag. Got a dopamine rush. Got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve. Can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Tater was laying on my shoulder while Shane ran to the gas station. Come here, Tater! And she was snoring like right in my ear. So we're gonna put together the kiddos' Easter baskets tonight and let them open them tonight. It's getting late, but they're gonna open them tonight because I refuse for them to open them tomorrow. So we're gonna hurry up. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff that I found in Dollar Tree. Y'all have seen most of the other stuff uh, in previous hauls. Like you guys have seen some in the date night and just some previous. I've been collecting stuff for a while. I did get their big Easter gifts and those were their Bibles. I got the boys the action Bibles and the girls some precious moment bibles i think i told you guys i was gonna put those in the easter baskets but I actually they begged me for them so we went ahead and give them to them we like wrote little notes in them so that they could keep them forever so they already have those those were their big gifts they asked for those early we gave them to them early so the rest of it is like little stuff but it's a lot of little stuff so i've showed you most of it i'll show you what i haven't showed you and then we're gonna put them all together really quickly because it ain't a fearfully created mama moment if she's not running behind Okay, so this came from the Dollar Tree. So my Dollar Tree just went Gucci. That's the word of the week, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you watch my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Or the last video before the last Gucci video. Nirvana. You know what I'm talking about. But um, they they just went to the $5 or whatever. So some of this is $5 and then some of it was $3. It's, it's weird. They need a better system in mind because there was just stuff everywhere. And they don't have stickers on most of it. So, like, some of it does. But then some of it didn't. So you'd have a $5 item sitting in a $1 placement and you would think it was one dollar get to the register and it's five dollars so the lady at the cash register said a lot of the elderly people were really upset with it and I said well I can totally see why because it's even confusing you know to me and change is not easy for anybody while I do think this is really cool and I, I do think that you know it was probably a good marketing tactic for Dollar Tree because it's kind of like a five below now 
I still can see why it's really irritating to people because it, it was kind of irritating finding things. Negative five below. Yeah, it's like a negative. Yeah, it's negative five below. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to be a ten below one day. But this is what you all haven't seen. And then I'm about to bring out the stuff that you have already seen. These are for Colton. I'm going to refrain saying what it is because they're in their room being really quiet trying to hear everything I say. Do you guys see what's funny about this shirt, though? <laughs> I think it's a cool shirt. Don't get me wrong. I really do. <laughs> but the one funny thing, I, I just... Body language. Go get Wonder Breath. Prince Haboo-Boo. Fairest one of all. I'll show you all the powers of heck. Anita Darling. Give me one quote he gave. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't even think. I, I, it's so it's such an obscure character. <laughs> so these are for Colton. We got them in size small. I found this and a chalk marker that's not for Easter, but I wanted to do something with that. I'm actually playing around with the idea of putting a big chalk board right here and doing seasonal chalk like art having shane do seasonal chalk art it's gonna get grown on every day. yeah that's the only thing is it's definitely going to get it's going to get torn it's going to it's it's going to get drawn on <laughs> it's going to get used remember when your tea on your on your um bible one oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i had a chalk a little mini chalk board on the island and i took it down because somebody kept erasing the tea they wouldn't erase nothing else but the tea and then nobody would own up to sure it, it nobody would own up to it so i got these for the girls there's going to be so much gone i don't even know if it's all going to fit in the baskets themselves so there may be stuff like around which we usually do end up putting it around each basket those are for the girls i got one each of these for the kiddos i got a pack of four of these because you always need those in gift baskets i got four of these one for each basket these are for the girls they were asking for some of these a couple of weeks ago to go outside and play with with their friends so i saw these in the egg-shaped ones and i was like oh we gotta have those this was a splurge but you're paying for the name right there. And Cameron, same. He's going to have a fit over that. So I went ahead and got it. These are the girls' baskets. And these are the boys' baskets. Now to bring everything that we've already shown you guys. And to try to fit it all into these. <laughs> Ain't happening. Ain't all fitting in there. Ain't no way. Pick it up, Shane. Pick it up. <laughs> There's no way that's fitting in there. Why am I a little bit overboard? Look at your. This is mine. 
chocolate. You're it's a little pony. <laughs> <gasps> Friday but Sunday is coming so it is good Friday we have spent a majority of the day watching the chosen you guys had told me to watch that forever ago and I'd watched a couple episodes but we got like halfway through season one today alone like well that's basically what we've been doing we had like a little chat with the kiddos this morning sit down conversation just like all of us together then we had them watch a kiddo uh, video I'll have it linked down below it was super cute I think I showed you guys a clip of that it was super cute um, and then we watched the chosen and now nanny wants us to come hang out with her so we're gonna go grab some hamburger meat and run up there really quick I'm running behind actually actually factually I'm running behind imagine that so we're gonna go grab some hamburger meat so we can cook out with her up there and just spend some time with her so yeah let's let's go when I get home I have got to tackle that kitchen because guess who did not clean her kitchen last night can you guess Daddy. You know we had to make a stop at Snow Daddy's. Anytime we see Snow Daddy's, we always stop and get a tiger's blood snow cone. I forgot a crap ton of the stuff at the house, but I did not forget to stop at Food City and get the things that we need. So we got that and we're on the way to Nanny's as soon as I get my snow cone. <laughs> Y'all have seen me show this place in vlogs before. It's just like a local Snow Daddy's. Uh, they, they got like granddaddy for the big ones, big daddy for the medium ones, little daddy <laughs> for the small ones. But they have like, it's not really like snow cones, you know, like the chopped up ice, it's like mm -hmm. grated, like cheese grated ice. I'm not really a fan of that, but they have the best tiger's blood syrup. It actually tastes like the old school 90s tiger blood syrup. So it works for me, it works for me, it's really good. So I told you guys that Shane is the slowest person on the planet. I'm early for everything, he's late for everything. So when the kids were super little, like I'm talking toddler, barely talking or little, like that's how little. I taught them this song every time he went into the store. Y'all remember it? It's been years and they still remember it. <laughs> you turn bearing gifts? They're no. singing your song, you wanna hear he's it? He's down here every Friday. <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah. Where's They're singing your song. song. Furry daddy. <laughs> Are you hand that to Mr. Carlton? You're so slow. You're so slow. Move those little, little laggers. Move those little laggers. To and fro. There you go. <laughs> I told you guys. Oh, it looks so good, man. Does it look good? Look yeah, at my your lights chair. look pretty too. Huh? Your lights look pretty too. Yeah, I'm gonna play with my bubbles and put them all in. Hey guys, look, I can make wish everywhere. I can make so many wishes. Look. You, you can make so many wishes. <laughs> you can make so many wishes. Look. <laughs> the wind. Cammy, you're not supposed to be on there. The wind. 
blew the trampoline over in the tree and destroyed it. So <laughs> we're gonna have to try to get a new net for the trampoline. Y'all ask about Nan's property all the time. Their property goes on for days. It's a bunch of mowed off land all the way up through there. I don't know how many buildings they got on their property. There's, a, there's like three over there, I think. And then it doesn't even stop at the wood line. It keeps going all the way down there. And then it goes all the way to the fence down. Can you guys see it down there? All the way down to the fence down there. Then over on this side, on the opposite side of the trampoline. Cammy, get down, baby. I don't want you up there without a net. Thank you, baby. Then over here, they go all the way up to the road. All the way over to the fence line. The pond right there. There's a pond over here. I don't think you guys have ever seen. This driveway is theirs. Goes all the way up to the road and goes all the way down to the opposite side of the road. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Help me! <laughs> the pond right here is theirs and then right behind it if y'all can see that fence right over there that's where the property stops but the pond is theirs this building right here is theirs they use it for storage there's also a building right there they use for storage <laughs> that one ain't seen the locks of a human in a while <laughs> But they go down here and down here. I wish they put a garden down here. She's wearing my helmet just for safety. Okay, just for safety. <laughs> um, but down here, I wish they would put a garden. They have the perfect soil and the perfect land for a homestead. Like, oh, I try talking Annie into it all the time. Try talking Annie into it all the time. They need some goats, they need a cow or two. A heifer or two. <laughs> but there's the pond. It's pretty daggone big. There you can see the fence a little bit better. That's where their property stops. It's literally right behind the pond. Then right here would be the perfect area for all this actually would be the perfect area for a garden. They do have snakes up here though. I specifically remember being 14, 13 or 14 and being chased down by a copperhead. <laughs> down literally chased down by a copperhead so they do have snakes but nanny gets some kind of snake away stuff um and puts it down to keep them away but their property goes all the way over there on that far side kind of down here where you see it's actually mowed you see how it's mowed right down there so it goes all the way over past this brushy part that this used to not be brushy it's just grown up over time they have a whole lot of land to keep up so they end up just like mowing it only a certain amount of it but it goes way back over there all the way down there the road ends this property line all the way up and then right here on this side is the front side the front yard of the house it goes all the way up here to this fence right here so it dips there's actually an old milk cellar over here that I used to joke about living in. It goes into the ground and it's where back in the day people would store all the all their cold stuff in. It's like down under there. It's really cool. Can you fix my bow? What? It's oh, you need me to fix your bow? I gotta go be a zombie. Hey, but down there they would keep like cold stuff and it's you can't get to it now because all that grass and moss and stuff. But it's made by cinder blocks. Their property goes down into the woods down there and then it wraps around. There's a lot of space. I get questions a lot as to why I don't live here with Nanny. That's because they never asked me to. <laughs> I ain't gonna push myself on nobody and if Nanny ever does need me to come be closer, then I'll be closer to help them. But until then, I'm good at my little trailer park. <laughs> I call this the little outhouse. <laughs>
Yell parkour! I got eight. Oh, do it, do it. There you go. Oh, I'm about to Yeah, don't die. Parkour! 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 Baby, huh? this one, that one's yours. That's mine. Here we go. Huh? I'm what is it? Take care of it. I got 13 eggs. Oh my lord. <laughs> what is that? I got 13 eggs. Oh dear land. Oh my lord. Look at that. Who bought this? Yeah, Did you buy them? Oh my <laughs> lord. Look at that one. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Oh lord! Yeah, look at yeah. them! I never dreamed I'd ever get rings again. <laughs> <laughs> look at the, oh my lord! Look what a diamond! Oh no! Sissy, so look pretty. what a diamond! <laughs> when did you buy them? When you went looking. <laughs> when you wasn't looking. <laughs> you didn't even go in over with me. Good. Lord, I love them. They fit me. The, oh, look at that. Nana, you know this make this more romantic? Oh, I'll make it more romantic. Yeah. 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 Sissy, look how they shop. Anniversary present. <laughs> hey oh. Ha. Everybody's loving you on the video or not. Well. They're just eight and you are. Hello and welcome. <laughs> You may remember me from such hits as dating vlog and, <laughs> and, and DIY cabinets. Uh, I hear I'm about to get my golden globe. FYI, I promise I'm not gonna smack anybody. <laughs> y'all wanna see the state? Okay, so just just mm, let me update y'all. Um, it's Saturday. <laughs> I haven't updated you all day because I've been editing the date vlog. That was a mammoth to, to edit, y'all. It took me four ever to get that thing edited. I was editing for what? I started editing at 11? Because of how much I 30. 11, 30 I started editing and I didn't get it done and uploaded till 6.30. So, seven hours. That one took me seven hours. Seven hour tour. So, I haven't done anything. Listen, listen, listen. Shane added two more people to the list, which I am so grateful for, for, for Easter tomorrow. <laughs> I prayed to God, what, three years ago, I was like, man, I really want somebody to cook for, you know, other than us, because my kids eat my cooking all the time. I was like, I really, really, really want more people to cook for. He entered it this year. <laughs> Shane's mom is actually coming, and his nephew, who he kind of grew up beside, kind of like a brother, kind mm -hmm. of. And he hasn't seen him in 16 years. 16 years. And he's coming to the trailer. The thing about it is, is it is Saturday night at 11:13 p.m. and I am hosting Easter supper because we ain't we ain't early enough to do Easter dinner around here at 12. It's gonna be tomorrow at five. The state of my house. <laughs> The living room kind of stayed clean, but Shane had to kind of go through it and clean it again, but he didn't me clean it. So, <laughs> so, what do you mean I didn't clean it? So, my task tonight, my task tonight is to get Christ, the house. Easter miracle, we wake up in the morning, it's all clean. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Easter miracle. Easter miracle, okay. Woo! We're on the same page. <laughs> So, um, we've also been watching The Chosen, so listen, my faith is pretty high. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, we are going to get it tied up. We're going to send the last two kiddos off to bed who are still awake. We're going to be sitting here, like, praying for a miracle. Like, we're, like, oh, we can go to sleep, wake up, it's all clean. What it is, is we're going to start to lay down, and we're going to hear a knock, and it's going to be Jesus and a couple of angels with some mop buckets. He'll be like, all right, let's do this. And be like, oh, we thought you were going to do we it. We thought you were going to do it. <laughs> That'll preach. <laughs> You was going to do the work. <laughs> I have found the many answers to my prayers require work from myself. <laughs> so I, you got to be careful what you pray for. <laughs> We've got to get it cleaned up in here. Like I said, last two kiddos are hauling off to bed. They've been watching The Chosen with us, so they stayed up a little bit later. Um, we're going to get this. Shane and I are going to... Shane, wait. We didn't hustle. We didn't huddle. Are we going to tackle this together? I ain't doing it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We're going to tackle this together. I did send Shane to the store 
to get some last minute stuff because I was not prepared. I'm still not prepared. But um, I, I sent him to Food City to get some last minute stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what he got here in a second. As soon as I clear off a surface big enough for me to put it all on the show -ins. But we are planning to get it tackled tonight. We're getting the kitchen clean tonight. I'll probably, while I'm cooking tomorrow, have Shane tackle... Well, I'm not letting Shane tackle the bathroom. I'll probably tackle the bathroom while Shane tackles our bedroom because I know he's going to want to show his nephew our, our, room, like me. our room because he's, he's kind of nerdy like him. So, it's a mess. This whole house where I have not been feeling good and I just honestly have... It's hard. Bless you. It's hard. It's hard whenever you're coming back from being really sick and you have just let things pile up. All I've really cared about here the last few weeks is, is school, school and makeovers. So we're going to kind of get everything back on track. Laundry is out of control, y'all. It's really out of control. So we're gonna get it tied up in here and then we'll probably stay up really late tonight. Shane's probably gonna watch Walking Dead. Shouldn't it be the opposite? Shouldn't you watch The Chosen after you watch The Walking Dead for a palate cleanser? But you're gonna taint the the chosen with the Walking Dead. It just reminds me of something in a way, right? Yeah. It's, it won't be in a zombie way, but at some at some point the dead in Christ shall rise. <laughs> no, <laughs> I guess not. Hard pass. So we're at least gonna get it cleaned up in here. Might get some desserts. <laughs> <laughs> Might get some I think made. it's gonna be we get it cleaned up in here and then we set some alarm clocks for 7 a.m. Woo! Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, that's, that's probably, probably what's gonna right. happen. Probably what's gonna happen. Definitely, I gotta do this grocery haul. We had to get some things. Prepare for our impromptu Easter celebration. So first off, one thing that we did was we stocked up on some cups and some utensils and some plates uh, because it's just easier that way. You know us. You've been with us long enough. We've got a two liter of Coke and that's uh, I haven't seen my nephew in 16 years and the last thing I remember him drinking was Coke. That's why I got him that. So <laughs> That was my thought process. Um, he always, we would go to McDonald's. Like, no lie, we would go to McDonald's and he'd always have to get a Coke with no ice. So, I don't know if he still does that, but if he does, here's a Coke. 16 years. 16 years. Um, and that, like I said, I, I got us some Dr. Peppers here. Um, I got my mom a Diet Coke. She said she drank diet last time, right? No. Dang it. Oh, okay. Don't don't do that to me. All right. So we got some strawberries. Good luck. Um, we are making something. Blueberries. Good luck. Cause oh, that hurt. Good luck. Cause luck. we're making something. Is that all the cups you got? Yeah. Good our family. That's 24. <laughs> um, I got some kiwis. You got cheap paper plates. I got kiwis. Trying to impress your nephew. Well, all the, went with hefty. all the other, well, they didn't have hefty. All the others they had was those cheap styrofoam ones. That thing's gonna flip on you, I'm telling you. Uh, we got kiwis. What are the kiwis for? We're making something. Oh, we're making something out of kiwis. I don't know even how to open a kiwi. Now, this was... Out. I forgot, I had to tell you, I had to make some changes to your list. No! You said to buy a big old bag of thawed out hash browns. Mm -hmm. I had to get two because they didn't have a big one. Let's see. Can you get thawed out? Yeah. That ain't big enough. It is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. You're going to have to go back and get more of them. No, ones. no, no. It's like opening for Christmas. We got some buttermilk. Make sure the expiration date was good. Uh, another thing I had to change um, was I found out that our food city, uh oh, I might have made a boo boo. Mm -hmm. Our food city was incredibly low on macaroni. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the family size boxes of Velveeta. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the only Velveeta they had and I didn't realize that it's bacon. Mm -hmm. 
We are not making bacon <laughs> So I'll have to pick some of that up in the morning. <laughs> Don't let me forget that. Um, I got some yellow cornmeal mix. Right? Yeah. Okay. I got us some turkey bags. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm glad they still had those. Yeah. They were good on those. I got four packs of butter and herb mashed potatoes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. No, that's not the kind I needed. What was the kind you needed? What are you doing, Shane? We got some chocolate frosting. Yeah? I need more than that. You didn't, you didn't specify. I got four cans, because I didn't know how many you needed, of cream of chicken. Good? Yeah. No, you got fat free. That's all they had. That was the hardest thing to find was the cream of chicken. Because I went down through there and I got to the, because I didn't realize it was a soup. And when I got to the soups, this was the only one that they had of like any brand. Hmm. And that included like the usual, what's the red and white soup? Campbell's. Yeah. Uh... Campbell's didn't even have that. Like, they didn't even have a section for it. We got a thing of sour cream. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I, hey, I did good on this one. You specifically said 16 ounce of Cool Whip. I got you a 16 ounce Cool Whip. Oh, another thing that they were running low on, Mama, was chicken salad. So, I could only get you a medium thing and a small thing. I got, <laughs> I got three cans of Crescents. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I got us a small ham. Right? Mm -hmm. No, you're supposed to get a big ham. No, you said small ham. Oh, it said, yeah, I did. It said small I on the did. list. Don't do that to me. Another thing that was really hard was their bananas. All their bananas was like straight up green. Right. Like green bananas. I love green bananas. Oh, ugh, ugh. So I got two of these, two packs, and these were still yellow, so. I don't trust green names. So sugar cookie, cookie dough, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't believe I got bacon macaroni. I got four of these um, pans mm -hmm. that have the lids. Mm -hmm. And that, oh, I didn't realize they had two each. So we got four, so you got eight. four six, eight. Oh. Yeah, you got eight of those. And then I got you a big old turkey one. But this don't have a lid. They, these right here were the only things that had lids. Shane, why would you put a lid on a turkey? Well, because you said to get everything with lids. And not the turkey. So I was stressing out in there. Aww. This was a somewhat failed attempt, I think. Well, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty kind of I got about 80% right. You did really good. That's a B. Yeah, you I got a B. called the list. I didn't specify. Oh, yeah. You didn't specify. So yeah, I got a B. Well, I kind of did specify. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Uh, let me find that list. No, leave it alone. And, and we'll, we'll right. talk about specify. But, other than a couple little things we got to get in the morning, I think we're ready. So, she's over here eating Pop Rocks right now. Yeah, it's making you? the most annoying sound. Man, can you imagine that on an ASMR? Pop Rocks. <laughs> I needed to put that new mic we got for the podcast. Up. No, you leave that. That mic is for the glory of God, and only for the glory of God. <laughs> and so, we're back. Sharon and I made a mutual decision that we're absolutely going to regret in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know how sometimes when you have a responsible, when you have responsibility. And you put off said responsibility. We're doing that. <laughs> so we're wore out. So we're gonna wake up at seven o'clock in the morning because that makes a lot of sense when you say it out loud. And we're going to get to cleaning and cooking. So yeah, we gonna, should be able to handle it though. I don't. I don't think it'll be too too bad. As long as we don't sleep through the alarm. Yeah. No. I'll time. set the alarm for what seven. Yeah. And then uh, I'm pretty we'll get excited on it. about it. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm so happy to be able to cook for more than just us. I was grateful to cook for us, but yeah. I, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Well, then we'll see y'all in the morning. What was that? You're supposed to say bye or something. You're just looking down weirdly. I was looking at the Diet Coke. 
Why would you I don't know why Coke? anybody would drink Diet Coke. I don't either. <laughs> right. Every time I accidentally get Diet Coke, like in drive through or something, I want to beat my head into a wall. It's true. Alright. You okay. ready to load all this up in the fridge? Uh, no. That's going to be your job. Good morning. Guess who overslept two hours. I just got a load of clothes in the laundry because this is the third day in a row that I'm wearing this and I barely have any clean clothes. <laughs> Shane did, he woke up earlier than I did this morning. Thank you Jesus for my husband. Thank you Jesus also. Let me, hold on, let me, let me pray before I, before I start this video because I'm making this all about the turkey and the dinner. Nah, uh, uh, no, be right back. Okay, so the menu has changed a little bit. <laughs> Um, Shane, I have Shane run to the store to get a big old ham. So I've got to hurry up and get the stuff I'm getting in the crock pot in the crock pot like ASAP. And then I'll, I'll meet, I've got the kids doing their own things. So Shane's doing something. We all have lists, mental lists, but Shane's doing something. Colton's doing something. JC's doing something. They're helping me clean up while I start to cook. And then I'm kind of going in and clean up with them. Life of a chaotic <laughs> mom. I hope that when they remember these Easter's with me, it's not me like, oh, what am I doing? It's mama got it done no matter what. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Like, just don't remember the chaos part of it, guys. Like, remember just mama got it done. <laughs> Around this time of year, I always think of my mamma. My mamma was the best hoster ever. She could host the best family functions, make the best big family meals. She would literally feed what felt like hundreds of people on just a little pot of something and it just always amazed me even as a teenager i knew my mamma in her 70s and her 80s and even at the ripe age of 80 she could host like nothing i've ever seen before and I often wonder if she was always like that or if in her younger years when she began hosting, if there was a little bit of chaos in her hosting abilities, in her life, in, in her everyday life. And it's something I always wish I would have asked her. Like, Mama, was there a little bit of chaos in there or is it just me? I would feel better knowing that there was more chaos in her younger years and she grew as she got older versus ha her just having it all together all the time. Because my Mama was a very all put together kind of person. So it's something I wish I'd always asked her, but I gave it my darndest and we got the daggone thing done on this Easter Sunday. I tried to stay my mind on Jesus, even in the chaos, even in the, the smoke alarm going off and everything going haywire. I tried to keep my mind stayed on Jesus. At the end of the day, Jesus is what it's all about the family is in addition the food is in addition but at the end of the day resurrection sunday he said he'd do it and he did it and because he did that i had the satisfaction i had the security and knowing that this is not the only time i get to spend with my family it's an eternal bond that we will all have together and i'm grateful for that i hope you guys have a blessed morning even not Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later. Heaven's gates stand open wide, oh, he's alive. Praise Jesus.